Darling in the Franks, episode 12, The Garden Where It All Began. How is it going everybody? It is I, Ferment Show, back at it once again with another Darling in the Franks review. Today we're talking about episode 12. I apologize for this going up a little later than usual. I apologize for my absence on this channel. I have been sick as a dog these last few days. I'm still really, really sick right now. I apologize for the stuffed up voice as well. Uh, I have a cough. I got... It's the whole nine yards. It's like just one of those things. Um, so yeah, I've been just not feeling it at the last few days and, and I apologize for that. Um, this episode was great, though. My god, we gotta talk about this. I, I was tempted- I, I tried to record a reaction. I tried, okay? This was a very reaction-worthy kind of episode. I tried, but I just kept coughing the entire, uh, the entire episode. I couldn't hold it in. Uh, so, I, again, I apologize for that as well. Um, but yes, this, this, this was a really good- I, I love this one. I love the vibes of the whole thing. I love how dark and different this episode is, uh, compared to previous episodes, compared to- um, just previous action scenes and previous dialogue between Hero and Zero Two. Things just felt a lot more heavy uh, in this episode. One of my favorite moments was the confrontation that Hero had with Zero Two. Oh my goodness. Uh, really, really cool. Really, really cool there when he said, I love you to her. She was like, w what does that even mean? Nani sort of meh. And just pushed him off. That was really, really cool. Really twisted in how she just basically said, yeah, you're fodder. Like, you're meant to just... You're, you're playing a part here. You're, you're an instrumental part, but you're playing a part here. You're just a waste. And that was hard to hear from her. And I know that's hard for Hero to hear as well. I don't know if this is, like, something that's taking control of her. If this is, like, some kind of or blood running within her that, that, that's kind of making her a different person, making her act a different way. Or if, if this is actually Zero Two. I'm, I'm, my, my money's on... on, on um, on her being being controlled or something not controlled but her hormones and her her attitude being amplified uh to act this way basically i don't think that she's actually an evil person like she's never i mean i don't know i i really don't i mean i've always gotten kind of bad guy vibes from her i've always assumed that maybe she's she's got kind of that evil side but i never thought it would be as deliberate as to go as far as choking out hero that's crazy that's how this episode ended uh, definitely felt the weight there, definitely felt a lot of emotion there. Uh, kind of hard to watch, not gonna lie. Uh, let's talk about the action scenes. This is probably the easiest part of this episode to watch. Uh, great, great Sakuga. Really good animation here. Um, different, that's why I like it. I like that, that we're in the snow now. We're seeing, like, action actually look different. Everything has been very samey throughout the series. We've been fighting in these sort of just, like, wasteland areas where just nothing exists. Uh, but here there's like trees and there's, you know, some vegetation, there's snow. It actually looks really, really cool. Uh, some great animation, some really cool uh, background animation. And, and just like, I love it when that viewpoint just moves around and stuff. You, you know how much I love that. Trigger's doing a great job. A1 as well. Uh, just really, really cool there. Really, really digging that. Um, there was actually two snow action scenes. Uh, one, I feel like could have been edited in a little bit better. They kind of like rushed that onto there. How that was kind of spliced in with the nines dialogue with the the, the blonde-headed nines dialogue he was like oh well she's feeling this way or that way and then it just showed her fighting and stuff i feel like they could have like oh they're in another battle now because i was kind of confused on whether or not they were flashing back to the previous battle um i feel like they could have edited that a little bit better uh and that's another thing to mention too the nines we kind of get our first real look at these characters our first i, I believe we this is the first time we've heard them like speak speak uh, or just that one speak, and none of the other ones talked. And I like their design a lot. I, I really do. It's really good to see them uh, in this series. Uh, we've all been talking about these characters for a long time. We've all been waiting for uh, their proper appearance. And it's finally it's finally time. We finally got them. Really interested in them. Really, really curious to see what their role is going to be in this story, uh, in this series. Uh, finally, I'm feeling like we're getting some development in a sort of kind of plot. Uh, not really. There's, this episode was really chock full of interesting details, and and I, I like how, I don't know, I just like how it was structured, I like how it was paced, it was, it was really well done. Uh, there's, there's a lot of questions here as well, and, and something that Hiro kind of realizes is we won't grow up to be adults, like this is something, he's starting to realize that something's going on here, like this is not a good place. Uh, they look at these kids being experimented on, uh, they're getting these, these uh, yellow, yellow blood cell injections and stuff like that. And it's kind of messed up, it really is, and you see the characters realizing that, uh, even when they're talking to the nurse lady or whatever, the doctor girl, 
it's I like that dialogue there. I, I like I like just the whole vibe of it all. I like how it's very somber, very emotional, very dark, and very different. That is my favorite part about this episode, is how different and how much it sets itself apart from previous episodes. It looks different, uh, the dialogue is different, the, the OST is a little creepy, lots of different things going on. Oh, that moment when she was in, like, the, I guess the bathroom or something, where all those mirrors were, she was like, please don't reflect me, and she was just, like, cracking all of the mirrors, and you just see Ichigo standing there, and she starts tearing up a little. She gets a little emotional there. That was heavy! I was really feeling that. Really good voice acting there as well. Just, God, I, I, I love how things are, I love how, I love the twists and turns. I love the direction that we're going in. I'm just curious where it's going, I guess. I, I love I love this direction, but w w what's happening here? Like, and this is one of the first times an episode has ended and there's actually more to come. Usually we tell a very finite story in each of these episodes. It's been a very episodic sort of sort of character development of the week type of series. But this episode we end on, a, on kind of a cliffhanger. Like she's choking out, or at least some form of her or something is choking out Hero. And, and we don't know why. We don't know what's going on there. Is that is that thing going into stampede mode or whatever? Is that is that what's happening? Because that's really cool too. Really, really excited. Like, that's how you get me pumped for the next week's episode. Is, is you gotta end on those kind of cliffhangers. And like I mentioned earlier, throughout this whole series, we've ended, like, each episode very, like, bye bye everybody, that's the end of this episode. It's been very, like, climactic for each episode. And this one's like, nope, we're actually going to tell a, a story here. Like, and that, that excites me. It really does. This is the moment that we've kind of been waiting for throughout this whole entire series, I think. Uh, it's just that series half finale. I mean, this is... This is the series half finale. I mean, we get these these dark elements here. We get these these, these this kind of plot, and, and it's exciting. It really, it really, really is. Uh, some other things I liked about the episode: the OST, as always, is absolute. It's it's flames. Uh, it's really, really good. One of my favorite OSTs is when they were talking to the Nines or whatever, and you had that kind of beat coming in. It reminds me of like Tekken or something like that. It reminds me of like Tekken or King of Fighters when you kind of have like this underlying electronic music, and then that beat starts kicking in. That's really, really cool. I gotta find that OST somewhere. I gotta. I think they will. Re I think they have already released the OST. So, gotta find that track because that track is flames. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, also, again, not just the, the animation in the action scenes, but just the overall kind of aesthetic of this episode. How everything was very uh, blue toned and kind of dark. Really digging that because the series has been a very kind of bright pinkish orange uh, hue when it comes to a lot of the scenes that, that have played throughout it. But this episode again was a bit different, and that excites me. That, that, that that's how you get me excited it, is when you start playing with other themes, when you start playing with other colors, and it definitely paid off in this episode, and hopefully it pays off in next week's episode as well. I think I'm pretty much done talking here because I am starting to lose my voice. I, I'm so sorry again. <laughs> like it just it sucks. It sucks for all of us. Uh, that I have this this cold thing. Um, but yeah, make sure to comment down below. Give me your thoughts about this week's episode. Let me know what you think of what's going on with Zero Two. I mean, she's she's turning more into a Klaxosaurus. She's becoming less and less human. Why does she need to kill other Klaxosaurus to become more human? Like, what is that attitude? Is that actually something that needs to happen? Or is that just her feeling that way? Not quite sure. What do you think of the, the Nines as well? Uh, Zero Two, like she was once a part of the Nines as well. Like, just let's talk about this episode. Let's talk about this entire series. We're now halfway through it. So I feel like this is a good discussion moment for sure. Uh, also make sure to hit the like button uh, and uh, subscribe for more Darling of the Franks reviews, gaming stuff. And uh, of course My Hero Academia is coming up as well. That's next Saturday, so be prepared for that as well. Really, really excited uh, to start uh, reviewing and reacting to that series. And um, yeah, again, I apologize for the sickness for, for, for just this. I apologize for this. Next week, I will be healed. I plan on getting up more videos up uh, this coming week. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that as well. Uh, and thank you for, for sticking by. Thank you for watching through this video. It means a lot to me. Even though I'm sick, you still got through the whole video. Thank you, really. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.